What's up guys? So last week I showcased the tower team called the Demox, which is super, super helpful for a lot of people, uh, especially if you're early game. It just runs through everything. A lot of people got in touch with me saying it's worked perfectly for them. Obviously, if you're running absolute meta teams and you're cracking, you've got like an ultra deep account, um, your arena is going to be a little bit tougher because things are going to scale that way. However, if you're a general player, a free to play player, I mean, I've only spent like 12 bucks, so I'm not exactly running ahead of the game or anything like that. Um, if you're a fairly general player, still doing those tier 5, tier 6 raids, that's a team that should work absolutely perfectly for you. And in that video, I did say we have another one of these guys coming with an order-based team. My good friend and guild mate, Ryan Wren, has actually put this footage together for us. I'm going to be commentating over the top, explaining what's going on, mechanics, and exactly who you should be targeting first. Um, this is another guide that will help if you're at that same kind of power range again, somewhere in that level, anywhere from really like level 30 or wh whatever level the mode opens in, I can't actually remember off the top of my head, up to the 70s, as long as you're not ridiculously powerful and forced to fight the, the meta from like floor five and such this should work perfectly for you and really help you climb through those required wins so we can actually sim this thing and maximize all our rewards anyway let's get on with this video let's do this Right, let's get into the battles. Full Panda Squad, Patriarch lead, as you would imagine. Uh, I can't imagine you use Kin, um, unless you didn't have him, which this probably won't work. Target number one, as with the Democ team, Rantha, the most annoying, disruptive character early game, that's for sure. Complete pain in the butt. Like. Um, and then obviously the AoEs, any of those, any big damage dealers, we're gonna target them as well. We gotta get them gone. We don't wanna take unnecessary damage and from that point, preserve your cooldowns. Don't be wasting your big hits. Don't be wasting all your specials or your taunts or whatever. Just use basics to mop up as soon as it's safe to do so. Um, that way we can preserve everything going into the next rounds. Obviously, you should be able to just auto through all the initial floors. Um, of, but if you do want to play it manually, it might be a little bit better for you because you can make sure the AI doesn't screw up and use your best moves. You can also make sure right characters are being healed when they need it. Um, the AI has a habit of just wasting heals or taunts and, and silly things when it's completely unnecessary, um, as is the case in most of these kind of games. So uh, yeah, doing it manually would actually prevent all that. Uh, he's ran through both of these floors so far with absolutely no problem, straight into the third. Can't imagine we'll see any issues until we get to probably the late blue floors or perhaps even not even to the purple ones. I mean, my demo team doesn't get any issues till late. Um, and even then, usually absolutely fine. Um, no real damage dealer to, to worry about in this one. It's kind of a, a really tanky team. Big shout out to Laura. Thank you for popping up in the video. Leave her a comment in the uh, messages below. Uh, oh, there she is again. A couple of kisses for you as well, Ryan. <laughs> Um, right, yeah, so th there's no real problem character here. He's just kind of killing whoever he feels like, which is what you can do. Obviously, the tanks, as Tromgar just did, they're going to taunt eventually. Um, so if you want to just attack them first, feel free. But obviously, if they're not already taunting, there's a healer around, picking her off will just make your life a little bit easier. Having a healer uh, revive your tank, you know, fill the health back up just as you're close to killing it, just slows things down. So... Um, yeah, I, I would recommend Rantha, any of those disruptive characters or big AoE damage dealers like uh, Kyra, Venomate. Uh, Venomate's here actually, so I mean, I would probably have gone for him first, although he's gone straight for the tank. At this level, it's not really a problem. Later floor, it may have been a bigger deal. Um, I imagine Venomate would have actually landed some big damage while he was messing around with a higher level Tromgar. Straight through that floor as well. Climbing through very, very quick. Uh, my Democ team did it just over 12 minutes. And we're already storming through here. This is actually quite a promising run. And that's what people want. Nobody wants to be wasting 30, 40 minutes doing these tower climbs. You want to get them done at lower levels. That way you're not having to deal with the meta teams. Um, although I have demonstrated that they are capable of beating those meta teams. Um, as long as they're not too powerful. If, if you've wailed on your account, I'm sorry, you're probably screwed. 
you're going to have to face constant meta teams. So you're going to need meta teams to do things. Uh, your, your full orc squad isn't going to do the business. Uh, definitely not a full goblin squad. Uh, looks like that floor's done. Again, he didn't have any real problem characters to, to have to handle there. Can't even speak today. Moving on. I believe at time of filming, Ryan was only like level 60 or something. So this is really, really good for those early game players. There's your Rantha has to be first. And then I would recommend Kyra second. She's got a disruptive mechanic as well, being able to put people invisible. Um, yep, that's exactly what he did. Then I would probably pick off Venomate. He's nearly dead and he's a big damage dealer. But Kin has taunted and that's what I mentioned earlier. Those tanks are going to get involved. So you really want to focus on those complicated characters first. Um, and that's exactly what he did. It's, it's the same routine that we did with the Demo Orcs. Just a different squad. And fortunately, this actually seems to work at a lower level um, and, and slightly lower gear, in fact. Probably because... There's, there's more healing stuff going on in this team, whereas the Demox is all about damage. And low gear Venomate is pure squish. He is a true glass cannon. Um, and Salvador was definitely more involved in my demo team because I was obviously having Venomate dying quite a lot in the lower levels. Once I got into the 60s, he tends to be fine as well, to be honest. But it, uh, those early ones, not so handy. Um, just, just gets splattered. No real problem here. You do have the joy of a double heal with a tank. That, that can be that can be real fun later levels, I tell you. People that haven't formed a strong team in Arena, they know what I'm talking about when you go up against those double or triple heals with a buff tank or double tank, double heal with an AoE that's hiding behind. Oh, not fun to deal with. He's not really taking any damage so far. So this is a really, really good run. He's going up against uh, more or less a full panda team as well. Nearly a mirror match if it wasn't for the old problem of Rantha. He's actually opted to kill uh, Foul first there. I'm quite surprised. That is why I would have killed Rantha first. Because obviously another tank's going to come in. He's got tangled on that tank. Now he's got to deal with this tank. I'd have probably killed her first. I don't think Foul's that much of a problem until uh, she's really well geared. At that point she will hit hard. And um, you're going to regret leaving her late, especially once Dodge gets over. That may have been why he targets her, to be honest, because, um, yeah, when she just spreads that Dodge chance to everyone, the AI just seems to dodge 100% of the time. And um, that's really annoying on someone like Kin, who's already awkward to hit, really tanky, is going to be able to heal constantly. Um, yeah, so perhaps that's why he favored it there. I would probably still go for Rantha. Um, and here we go again. I'd go for her first, take out Kyra next. Uh, Tromgar is probably going to get in the way before we can take out Venomate 2. He opted to take out the, the less healthy character. There we go. She's gone. And he should be all right. He should be able to get... Oh, no, Venomate dodged. No, he looks comfortable. Tromgar must be a fairly low ability. He hadn't taunted. Um, so yeah, he's gone. Nice and easy there. On to the next floor. What floor are we on now? Move on to floor eight. So we're getting close to the more problematic floors now. The ones that newer players get to and everything just falls apart. Everything just falls apart because they're using really usually odd comp teams that don't really have any sort of synergy. Um, Obviously, Panda's a fantastic synergy. They're a really good endgame team as well. Not necessarily meta, but they, they can do a lot of uh, damage in raids. They can do some really, really effective runs in tower. Um, very good squad. Very good squad. I believe McMole really kind of hyped them early game just as I was getting into things and kind of figuring stuff out. Um, and it looks like Ryan dives straight in. Can't blame him. Good solid squad. And it's, I mean, he's working out well for him. He does good raid damage and he's running through this tower. On to floor nine. On to floor nine. We have got the mods to show you guys afterwards. Ryan has actually gone into depth. He's showing you every single mod. So you can even see the primaries, not just the sets. And you can see there's not any really special modding going on. You've got some one dot mods. Um, there's, there's no, like, there's, it's not amazing speed on all of them. So. This is a very reachable, achievable team for free-to-play players. And obviously, Tower will give you a good deal of resources as well early game. 
I'm really using the word obviously a lot in this right now. I do apologize. I don't write scripts. I do this off the top of my head. Um, is he going to do that panda one? He is. Okay, fair play. The, the, this last set of side rooms tend to be quite powerful. Um, a lot of the time I don't do these because I run a mixed team. I have an orc slash uh, demon team. So I can't. I can't do a demon room or an orc room. I have to, I can only redo the clan ones. I am putting a panda team together myself, so I will be able to run these very, very easily too, before long. Yeah, very, very easy. Crushing this squad. I'm curious if you're gonna get some tougher ones in these final floors. Oh God, I just don't wanna go down. He's finally dropped. Ooh, here we go. Last three floors. What do we got? What are we working with? The screens click so quick I didn't even see. Um oh yeah, that's that's a bit more of a, a meaty team right there. Punch your face, very annoying character. Snorri can do some big, big damage. Uh, if it's a decent ability leveled up uh, Trom guy, he'll taunt early. There we go. So now he's stuck there, and Kyra is bound to make this team invisible any minute now. There we go. Been quite fortunate not to get poisoned at all yet. That'll, that'll spike Kyra's damage. Very, very survivable team. I mean, Trongar is countering a lot, and look at that health and shield still. Ah, uh, looks like Venomate's gone. Now, Kyra by herself. She ain't doing nothing by herself. If you're really, really low health, yeah, she could probably wipe out your whole team with one AoE, but by herself, with that kind of health and, and shield, not happening, she's going down. And my house phone's ringing. Lots of interruptions today. I've had door knocking several times when I'm recording, now my house phone's going off. Go on, who's in at floor 11? Be unfair to, to count this on the time. I won't chop this out because then people will be like, oh, you spliced it with a run that went well. I didn't. This is this is all legit. We don't cherry pick on my channel. Uh, right, yeah, Ranthor have to be first. I would probably deal with Ma next. He's one of those characters. If you don't finish him off and he's taking damage, his damage starts to scale. Um, he gets some bonuses from it. And he can do some pretty devastating, like, almost full team clears. I've had it before where I was having a really great run, running through the team. And I kind of ignored him when he had half health. And then he basically put all of my team in yellow. And I was like, okay, let's back out, go back in and make sure he's priority. So yeah, we'll take him next. Is he gonna get her down before Trom? Nope, no he's not. All oh, the joys of interrupting tanks. Just when it's going very smooth. I'm guessing the server was being a bit funny in this run because the chats just disappeared as well with that slow connection. This was filmed about a week or so ago. It's been me just with my huge backlog, unable to get this video out sooner. Very good. Into the final floor now, floor number 12. What has he got? He's got disconnected, that's what he's got. So I was right. It looks like something's up with the server during this recording. Probably should have viewed this first and, and cut that, that kind of bit. But then, as I said, there'll be those people in, in the comments. Oh, he's got to reboot the game, is he? There'll be those people in the comments that say that we spliced. We haven't. He's trying to get this to work. Come on, game. There we go. Connected. Searching. Find our next victims. That's a very easy squad for a final floor. Quite lucky there, actually. Although, this has been working well for him consistently for a long period of time. He's it, By this point, he's done over 20 floors. Um, I don't think he's failed a single one even to now. And this is you know, a couple of weeks later, a week later, whatever it is. Uh, so, yeah, he's, it's, it's, this team is working. He's a much higher level now as well. And he's obviously rounding his account out as we're pushing for tier 6 in the raids. Come on, connection. It's slow loading times. There we go. Right, who would you deal with here? Probably Corp. Don't want that AoE damage. Then I'd probably take out Sharp if Darian hasn't interfered. He's going for one of the healers. Not a bad choice because, as I mentioned earlier, when you've got two healers and a tank late on, those tanks can actually be um, 
quite effective meat shields, in fact. So having two healers kind of prolong the battle can be very annoying. I don't think you'd be in any danger of losing this battle because Sharp by himself isn't going to kill anything. And there's Laura again. Hey there, Laura. But yeah, he's not in any danger here. This is clearly um, a fairly, fairly easy run. He's done, he's done well. He's had no real problems. A couple of floors uh, faced a more problematic team, but had no difficulty running straight through them. So we'll show you the mods and such in a second. Looks like this is just wrapping up. We'll see exactly how many floors he's cleared. Um, by this point, level 60, it's probably somewhere in the mid, late 20s, maybe. If uh, push the 30s depends how quick he got patriot he's, yeah, he's been telling me for a while how well this has been going but obviously you gotta allow for time to build a team get abilities put together 26 runs there you go so kind of what i expected for this level that that's uh that's a good run here we go his foul um yeah fairly decent speed no crazy secondaries available Zero abilities at the bottom there. They're not maxed out. We've gone for... He's gone for full crit chance here. Two of the blue ones. Very lucky to have a blue uh, arrow. With, uh, not blue arrow. Blue speed rune. Sorry, I'm going to mix up my games here. Uh, shield. And crit chance at the bottom as well. It's not even crit damage. Uh, Master duo. Fairly standard secondaries there. He's only got health sets on as well. These, these, are, not, these are not like optimal sets by any means. I'm sure, oh yeah, I can see one dots there as well. Grey mods and one dots for that matter. So, yeah, very, very achievable mod sets. Uh, you see some of these guides that people have put out. I mean, look at those like level four abilities. And then it's quite expected when you suddenly see everything's ability six. Um, every single rune has speed secondaries and great offensive you know, damage uh, numbers and stuff. You know, those, those kind of runes, they're, they're hard to get. All these games, there's a good RNG element involved when it comes to getting good runes. There's no magic trick. There's no secret that's going to allow you to get exactly what you need more effectively. Here's our Kin Lee again. Health, health runes. I call them mods. It's just easier for me. Someone will call me out for it. Uh, not seven starred yet. And obviously Patriot wasn't seven star either. Barely standard stuff. So you shouldn't have a problem getting these together, guys. You really, really shouldn't. The most difficult character to get is probably this guy. In fact, Patriot drops really well in those, um, in those chests. And I mean, I farmed him fairly quickly, free to play. This guy is, is, is a little bit more of a problem to farm, I found. But, um, yeah, really, really good character. Great damage. Very handy in raids because he's got one hit that does like seven attacks. So make sure you get him. Get this team together. And that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully, this will help you out the same way the Demorc video helped many players out too. Um, all we got to do is get this to 150. And if you're around like my power, as I said, I mean, I'm level 73. Um, I can't even remember what top power on my team is, but most of them are gear 8 to gear 9. Um, and obviously Demox is working perfectly. My Panda team, this is the exact team I run it as well on the light side battles now. Um, it works great. It works absolutely fantastic. I don't quite have the abilities where I need them to be able to run this through the entire thing. But I imagine a lot of people do. A lot of people really went ham on those premium chest packs to try and get uh, Patriarch. Um, I didn't. I'm doing it the free to play way. I'm having to grind him out through farming. It's taking forever so i can't quite run this myself um but quite a lot of people that i know are running this it works fantastically and i hope it works great for you any questions drop them below give it the old thumbs up subscribe mm. share with your guild i'm really really going to give this a push here for dragon champions content and until next time guys we out of here